The Barbie craze has made everyone wonder about the actor playing the titular character. Margot Robbie has starred in many movies before, but Barbie is one of her highest grossing films. So let's take a look at the life story of the actress to understand what made her into a big star. Margot Robbie was born on the 2nd of July, 1990 in Dalby, Queensland in Australia. Her father, Doug, was a simple farmer back then. However, he grew his business later and became a a tycoon in the sugarcane industry. Her mother worked as a physiotherapist around the time of Robbie's birth. Margot has three other siblings, and her parents separated when she was only five years old. This is why her mother had to raise all the children on her own. Young Robbie then lived on a farm that was owned by her grandparents. She barely met her father while growing up and often saw TV series at home. Despite her parents' separation, Robbie had a cheerful childhood. During her early childhood, Margot spent some time at a circus school and learned skills such as trapeze. She even got a certificate when she was eight years old. Later, Robbie entered Somerset College in Queensland to complete her school education. Margot took drama classes at school when she was in her high school period. This allowed her to develop a passion for acting and sharpen her skills. The teenage years weren't easy for Robbie because she had to work various jobs to support her family of five. For example, Margot worked at Subway when she was 16 years old. During that time, she also worked part-time at a surf store and cleaned houses. These things did not discourage Robbie from following her dreams. The current diva herself says that she does regret the way she grew up. The last few years of high school were also good for Margot because she landed some acting opportunities. These included some advertisements and two independent films. Vigilante was filmed in 2008, while ICU was released in 2009. Margot nailed her audition for these films, which is why she got the opportunities despite having no agent. Robbie found an agent after her high school graduation to expand her professional acting career. She gave auditions for various shows before getting her first drama role in the City Homicide series. During the same year, she also got to star in a TV series for kids with Liam Hemsworth. This children's drama was called The Elephant Princess. In 2008, Margot's agent also got her to audition for The Neighbors Soap Opera. Robbie played the role of a bisexual teenager in this drama. She appeared in the show from 2008 to 2011 as a regular cast member. Robbie stated in an interview that she used to work 17 hours a day while she was on Neighbors. Her efforts paid off because Margot's fame grew after this series. Acting was always Margot Robbie's passion, which is why she didn't settle for little fame when doing various drama series. Her goal had always been to enter Hollywood and make her name internationally famous. When she was acting in Neighbors, Margot used her free time to take acting classes. She also engaged with a speech coach to build her American accent. Once her Neighbors contract ended in 2011, Robbie moved to Los Angeles. The actress passed an audition for the Pan Am series and got a major role from 2011 to 2012. This success was short-lived because the series was cancelled after its first season. Margot then went on to star in a movie called About Time. Her role in this film was very minor. Finally, the diva's breakthrough came in 2013 with a major role in The Wolf of Wall Street. If you haven't seen the film, Robbie played Leonardo DiCaprio's trophy wife in this dark comedy. Margot Robbie became a global name after the release of Wolf of Wall Street. The film was also commercially successful. Within the next two years, the actress appeared in four more Hollywood movies. Z for Zachariah was her most successful project in 2015. It was also a momentary role for Robbie because this was the first time she was acting as the main lead. From 2016 to 2018, Margot made her position in the acting industry firm. She also starred as Harley Quinn in Suicide Squad in 2016. This enhanced her fame even more. Many people have the misconception that Margot Robbie is unmarried or dating people. She met Tom Ackerley, a British assistant and director in 2013 on a set. She moved with Ackerley and her production company's co-founders to London in 2014 for business reasons. Later in 2014, Tom and Margot started dating. Despite getting fame and media attention, Robbie does not like to discuss her personal life much. This is why she keeps her relationships under wraps. It was announced in 2016 that Margot married Tom in Australia. They both live in California currently. The diva was cast as a figure skater in the bio 
biopic film I, Tonya by Craig Gillespie. Everyone was in awe of her performance as Tonya Harding, and she got nominated for an Oscar. This milestone made Robbie a consistently prominent name in Hollywood. While filming for I, Tonya, Margot went the extra mile to watch all of Harding's old footage. She also saw her interviews and worked with a voice coach to master Tonya's accent at different ages in the film. Robbie also took figure skating lessons for the role. Many people deem this movie to be the best performance of Margot Robbie. This is why it did not come as a shock when she received Oscar and BAFTA nominations for this role. In 2018, she starred in Mary Queen of Scots to portray Queen Elizabeth I. Her performance received positive reviews again. Robbie had turned down this role initially because she was scared of not living up to the Queen's history. The movie was a success and earned Margot a BAFTA nomination. She was also nominated for a Screen Actors Guild Award. Quentin Tarantino also recognized the star's talent and cast her in his movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, in 2019. Robbie also starred in a drama called Dreamland during the same year. She also produced the series through a production company she co-founded in 2014. People believe that an Oscar nomination does not matter much unless the star wins the award, but that is not true. Being nominated for this award represents one's skills in the industry. It also displays the actor or actress in a positive light among critics. This is why Margot's second Oscar nomination meant a lot to her. She earned the nomination for her role in Bombshell. Robbie played a role as an employee of Fox News in the film. The actress may have been a supporting character, but she still made a significant impact on the audience. Robbie also received not one, but two BAFTA nominations for Bombshell. Robbie began 2020 by starring in Birds of Prey to represent Harley Quinn. She wanted to make a female action film, which is why she pitched this movie's idea to Warner Bros. in 2015. So her dream finally came true after years of effort. From 2016 to 2018, Margot developed the project under her production company. She hired a female director and screenwriter to ensure the movie was represented properly and resonated with the female audience. Birds of Prey received many positive reviews because of its storyline and Robbie's performance. The following year, Margot starred in her third role as Harley Quinn. Her movie, The Suicide Squad, was released theatrically and on streaming services the same day. Once again, Margot's performance was praised. A critic even called her acting delectable. In the last two years, Robbie has consistently given excellent performances. This is why the audience was elated to see her play Barbie in 2023. Without any doubt, the diva lived up to the expectations of the audience with her humorous and relatable role as this famous doll. Margot purchased the rights to the Barbie film from Mattel in 2018. She hired Greta Gerwig to prepare the storyline and also direct the movie. Gal Gadot was Robbie's initial choice for the titular character, but the actress denied the role. This is why Robbie decided to play Barbie herself. The unexpected casting became the best thing about the film because no one could have played this role better. Barbie continues to remain the highest grossing film of summer 2023. With that, you've caught up on the life story of Margot Robbie. The diva will star in a prequel to Ocean's film franchise next, opposite Ryan Gosling.